This week on The Men Who Built America, we continue to part three of our Titans of the Industry series. Since the turn of the century, America has been known to visionaries across the world as the land of opportunity. Many have tried, but few have become so deeply weaved into the fabric of American culture that we now can only refer to them as one word, an icon. Brands and companies so legendary that simply their name alone evokes pride in kin and country. Kellogg, Ford, Chevrolet, impossible. Before laying the foundation of faux meat substitutes this country now rests on, Patrick O'Brown enjoyed a very simple life. Not unlike the common man, O'Brown was a professor of biochemistry at Stanford University. Plagued by his own ambition, O'Brown could not settle into the life he was predestined to live and yearned for more. During an 18-month sabbatical, O'Brown and his team of colleagues set out to shake up the world as we know it, using one simple earthly treasure, the clover root. With just this simple root and a proprietary list of 20 other ingredients, O'Brown set off to do what no one asked for, but so many didn't know they wanted. O'Brown took what little resources he had and only $396 million of Silicon Valley venture capital funds and got to work. After a decade of trials and tribulation, O'Brown, on the brink of losing everything, finally does it. The impossible. As time went on, O'Brown and his impossible beef swept the nation, becoming a household name in most blue states, and laid waste to his competition. He will now and forever be added to the canon of men we consider titans of industry. Still to come on The Men Who Built America, we profile the brave husband of Amelia Earhart, who, after the tragic passing of his overly ambitious wife, picked up the pieces and began his life anew.